In the vast tapestry of holiday tales, there is one character that resonates with us all, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. His story goes beyond Christmas folklore. This is the story of how Rudolph relates to each one of us. Just like many of us, Rudolph faced adversity. He was bullied for being different. The world can be a challenging place, especially when we stand out from the crowd by our behavior or our looks. No matter the form it takes, bullying is a painful act. The other exploits our insecurities, using them as a weapon to conceal their own pain. Once we become insecure, we become vulnerable to the vicious intentions of the bully. We start to internalize their teasing and taunting, and the negative inner voice takes over. Little by little, we slip down a rabbit hole of despair. Changing ourselves to avoid the bullying, we bleach our skin, cut and dye our hair, or date people we aren't interested in, all to invalidate the insecurities planted by the bully. We have structured the world in such a way, if you don't learn to bully enough, at least in the society's eyes, you don't get anywhere. Everybody is using whatever power they have to beat down somebody else. People are not using the power they have to uplift somebody. Even if they uplift somebody, there is a string attached. That they can pull you down any time they want. Nobody wants to… wants you to be a hydrogen balloon, lose, let you loose and say, rise. They have a string attached to it. For this we need a powerful non-sectarian spiritual process to liberate people like that so that every human being can blossom in his own way. He need not be my way or your way, he can blossom in his own way as long as he's inclusive as life is. Life is inclusive. Inclusiveness is not an ideology. Inclusiveness is not some kind of a philosophy. Inclusiveness is the way of life. Inclusiveness is the only answer. Inclusiveness not in terms of I love you, you love me, just clearly seeing life that it's an inclusive process, experientially seeing it's all inclusive, there is no other way to be. Despite the laughter and isolation, Rudolph didn't lose hope. On Christmas Eve, when darkness threatened to overshadow the holiday spirit, Rudolph's uniqueness became his strength. Santa, the wise and compassionate figure, saw beyond the superficial judgment. He recognized the extraordinary gift in Rudolph's unique glow. With Santa's guidance, Rudolph stepped into his true power. He led the sleigh with his radiant nose dispelling the darkness and saving Christmas for children around the world. Just as Rudolf discovered the power within himself, each one of you has a unique light to share with the world. Embrace your differences, for they make you extraordinary. So let Rudolf's story be your guide. May your journey be filled with self-discovery and the joy of embracing your true self. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming video and I'll see you in the next one.